Hey guys, Paul here from Go Hunt, and today we want to talk about a great new pack that we just got in. There's two of them. It is the new Mystery Ranch Pop-Up 40 and the Pop-Up 30, and this is available in a men's pack and a women's pack. And what we want to do today is we just want to talk about some of the features. Uh, you can definitely hop online, go to GoHunt.com, look up this backpack if you want to see the details and specs of the backpack. What I kind of want to do is generally go over those a little bit, but I also want to talk about day packs in general. We are still in the early part of our season. Uh, there might still be some late season hunts going on. And so we want to talk about the benefits of a day pack, how they can benefit us no matter what it is, whether it's a Western hunt, a Midwestern hunt, or even back East. Uh, these pop-up packs have been really beneficial for a lot of things when it comes to packing out meat and uh, overall just comfort. And as you guys know, if you guys were a Mystery Ranch, or if you're not familiar with Mystery Ranch, they are really nice and comfortable backpacks. So I want to go ahead and start with the pack that I have here, which is the Pop-Up 40. The Pop-Up 40 is uh, really, really kind of a cool design. I'm going to go ahead and unclip this day lid and it does have a removable day lid. So depending on what we're doing, you can end up just kind of dropping this off at camp and leaving it with you if you need to. So here we have some buckles, which is kind of a new design, which I kind of like is these press release like little uh, carabiners and then press this one, release it. and we can remove our day lid if we need to. A single day backpack, or sometimes I'll call them a super day, is something that we can really take everything with us that we need for that one day hunt. And I, I don't wanna get into it too much, but minimalist hunters who think they can maybe get an overnight out of these, uh, I'm not gonna recommend that at all. You guys can probably get your hands on the packs. If you guys are coming through Las Vegas, please swing by the showroom. We'd love to show you guys the packs, load them up, get you guys fitted for them. But, um, to talk about a day pack itself, these should really just carry your 10 essentials that we need for the field, um, carry your kill kit, your water, maybe just layers if we're going to layer up or layer down, or if we're sitting in a stand or in a blind, to have enough pack that's going to last us for four to five hour sit, or a really good long day glassing up any mule deer or whatever it is that we might be pursuing this summer or fall. Um, I really do feel that a 40 liter backpack like the Pop-Up 40 is right in that that threshold of a perfect pack that can really get us into a really long day in a late night pack out. Um, they are designed to carry about up to 80 pounds in the frame and in the stays, which uh, give me a second and I can pop these guys open for you. The stays here are telescoping. So if we need to pop this open and adjust this, we can. We want to get about a 45 degree angle for this load tensioner strap. So that way, depending on what we are carrying out, if we're doing like two mule deer or two elk or two antelope, whatever quarters it is we might be taking, we want to make sure that our weight is distributed evenly over the frame so we can adjust these telescoping stays a little bit more. And then as always, it's a really cool, comfortable feature that Mystery Ranch has that you can always adjust the yoke when doing this for your backpack. And this is going to be mostly for your torso length. So um, just to get into a quick sizing here, if you end up kind of adjusting or putting These hip belts here should line up with the top of your hip bone. It's called the iliac crest. And if we put those guys right around there, we can kind of bring this around, line that buckle up with your belly button, snug this up. I kind of, some of you have come in here, I've called it the, uh, the piggyback effect, when if you're used to a kid hopping on your back, we grab their legs first and bring it up here to kind of distribute that weight evenly over our feet and our toes. So we want to make sure that that weight is going to be even. Uh, even though this can carry up to 80 pounds, I would think for a day pack, uh, 20 to 25 would be more than enough for food, water, filters, 10 essentials, kill kit, our weapon, and everything else. Um, so when it comes to fitting it, start with the foundation, start with the hips, move your way up. This, this part here of the top of the yoke should probably sit where the C7 vertebrae is. So if you stand still, look down at your feet, kind of move your head down, you'll see that C7 or feel that C7 pop out. That's where you want this guy to sit is just below that. Get that adjusted. Put the Velcro back over, you're ready to rock and roll. If you have any other questions, uh, drop a comment below or please feel free to email us and reach out. We'd be happy to help you get that set up or come by the showroom. So going over the Pop-Up 40, um, this is really kind of a cool design. This is a little different than what we've maybe seen in the past where it's only been like maybe the cinch tops or just flips and zippers and everything. They kind of give us a little bit of everything, which is nice and comfortable. So at the top here, we're going to open up. I'm going to clip this off and I'll show you what's really nice about that. Undo these guys. And then this zipper actually runs down the length of the body. Oops.
of the bag. And so as this kind of opens up, we can really get into everything we need to. So if you want, I usually tell folks to start with really light and lofty uh, materials, or let's say it's a sitting pad, a glassing pad or something like that at the bottom of the bag, and then work your way up, keeping maybe heavier stuff in the middle. So let's maybe it's a kill kit. It could be a pot and stove and fuel system here in the center. And then moving your way up, we can just do like socks, layers, or whatever it could be from there. So I just want to go through the body of the bag itself. Um, even though we kind of have the quick draw top with that really nice nylon kind of water resistant material, if we kind of follow the zipper all the way down, we can actually access the body itself, which is kind of great depending on what we need to get access to. So let's say if we're doing like maybe a sit pad or a glassing pad or something that'll go on the bottom, I usually recommend you know, filling your pack with the lightest, loftiest thing. So if we're doing a down jacket and a sit pad here, we want to move up, you know, with your weight, your heaviest items or whatever they may be in the center of the backpack. So it could be fuel, a stove, a pot, some food. Then as we move up into here, it could be your layers. You know, if we need to strip anything off real quick or get to it quickly, this will be where that is. Kill kit, tag, um, first aid kit, whatever it could be, it could be sitting right here, or you can leave it in your day lid. So I just thought that was really kind of a cool feature that you have both, which opens up nicely. And then you're also hydration compatible, which is great. Uh, it's gonna have the capacity to hold up to a three liter water reservoir if you want it to. Um, sometimes also, one thing I like, this is a little life hack for myself, day bags or day packs make really cool carry-ons. So like if anybody's traveling and you need to keep like, let's just say a couple layers or, or pieces of clothing while the rest of your stuff is under the plane, this guy works great for that carry it onto a plane if you need to, whether it's Alaska or wherever you might be going, uh, serves as a cool little backup for something. So um, one thing I, I do wanna talk about with day bags before I get into some of the features like you might see with this guy with the, the meat hauling is there are a lot of day packs out there. And one thing I don't want people to be misconstrued about is what a day pack can do for you and what a day pack should do for you. So some day packs you might see uh, I won't be able to do it on this one because it's got such a rigid frame, but some day packs you'll be able to push on the stays and you'll actually see the bag like almost fold in half. And you might not have a really nice reinforced back panel. You might just have some sort of closed cell or open cell foam that'll kind of push out when you stuff it. You can feel everything in the bag pushing up against your lower lumbar of the back and it could be quite uncomfortable. Those bags are just outlined with like an aluminum tubing that does nothing as far as hauling meat uh, gear or anything else like that. So I think what's really great and really beneficial about what Mystery Ranch has done with these new pop-ups is they've given you a great lightweight backpack that can do a lot for you, whether it's hauling out an animal, just getting you into the outdoors for the first time. Uh, they have designed a really cool pack here. So I want to go through a couple of the features for folks. You know, if you're really getting into your first hunt, if this is your first season getting into a Western hunt, you're thinking like, man, what backpack should I get? We're just going to be kind of hanging out at the truck. We're going to be doing a side by side or just hiking from camp. A day pack is the way to go. It still does the job of hauling meat and it can still carry the things you need without overloading you. So one cool feature I'm just going to talk about is a thumb screw that sits right at the top of this frame. This is a one quarter by 20 screw. Uh, and just to kind of show you guys how this could be beneficial. I just happen to have a spotting scope. It's the Vortex Razor HD. And if we happen to be doing something where it would be a lot quicker than this, <laughs> you would end up just kind of throwing the spotting scope on the top of the frame if we just need to confirm buck doe, hey, are we in the right drainage? What are we doing? You can actually just throw this on real quick, snug that puppy up, and you're actually ready to go. Uh, depending on your spotting scope, you guys and gals, check the bottom. If you have a, a, 30, a 3 8 inch or a quarter inch, you might need to use an adapter. Uh, nonetheless, that will fit right on top. Also, if you're doing a rifle saddle or if you're needing like doing a camera, you can do the same thing uh, on top of that frame, which is really kind of a cool thing. And then that just quickly unscrews and that's it. So that's kind of a cool feature that's on this guy as well. One other thing that's really, really neat is uh, I'm going to kind of take this off a little bit is that we can actually get this bag to come off the frame a little bit, which is great because it's going to now expose us and get us into the meat shelf. Some of you that are familiar with Mystery Ranch's kind of old pack and bag designs, the meat shelf was right at the bottom of the frame here, which made loadouts and, and hauling meat and everything a little difficult. You had a lot of the weight at the bottom. We didn't have so much of the piggyback effect where we want that weight about a third of the way up over the, over the lower lumbar, centered around the pelvis, weight over the feet, 
it was really down. So it kind of felt like that little kid who kept wrenching back on our necks. We had to keep pulling their arms forward. We changed that this year and I'll show you what well, we didn't, they did, <laughs> but we'll show you what they did different. Now that we have the bag kind of all done along the sides, um, it goes a little bit quicker than that, but sometimes some buckles get caught in that little sleeve there. Uh, once we have our animal on the ground, we have everything processed, tarp is out, whatever our process might be, snap all of our buckles off. This will now come off the frame, which is really great. This, you guys, is their new adjustable load shelf. So depending on what we wanna do, you can let some strap out if you need to. So again, when it comes to weight distribution along the frame, we can move this weight down a little bit more. And then as we open our stays, we can now move our stays up a little bit more. So let's just go to plus two there. And plus two here. So if we have a really good meaty quarter and we got a long leg, we need better weight distribution, we can do that there. Um, another cool thing if you need to is if you have everything kind of already bagged up and we deboned it all, you can probably actually just tie your meat or your uh, game bag here and kind of suspend that that meat bag to here get that load shelf up snug it and this bag does a great job of bringing all that weight forward helping our center of gravity and making that pack out a whole lot easier so two cool really new features are adjustable meat shelf adjustable stays that can kind of help with weight distribution and then one thing they recommend is as we are kind of packing out this is gonna be a little tight. That's gonna really wrench on the shoulders. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you loosen this guy up to give you about a 45 degree angle in that, in that, uh, from the stay to the shoulder strap or the yoke. So that way the weight distribution is even coming across the shoulders and along the chest. Um, as my assistant is showing you here, having a game bag in here is really, really easy. This is a, uh, a 30 pound sandbag that we usually use for our pack fits. And I just wanted to throw it in here to kind of show you what maybe a deboned animal might look like. Uh, three of us just got back from Arizona on an archery javelina hunt. This pack would have been money for a situation like that. Maybe we're back east doing some whitetail hunts and we got two does down. We can probably do all that in one shot with this bag. Great for the tree stand and everything else. Okay guys, so moving away from the 40, this is gonna be, uh, this, is happen this happens to be the men's pop-up 30. Uh, you can notice it does not have the day lid on it. It's just gonna be the bag itself and then the clips to the stays. All of the, some of the features are gonna be slightly different though. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this guy open for us. Uh, the difference in features is gonna be instead of having the day lid and then the, um, the tension top and then the zipper all the way down the side is you're just gonna have the day lid is kind of attached to the bag itself. So we're gonna have one compartment in the top, and then we're just gonna have these zippers on the back that are just gonna to be top-loading zippers, kind of opens up like a bucket. And I have a pillow in here, but, and this is gonna give you access to the bag itself. So we need to do anything, you're gonna probably have to dig down a little bit more for it. But this is the pop-up 30 version. As far as the frame, the uh, one quarter to 20 thumb screw, the adjustable meat shelf, adjustable stays and everything else. It is the same as the pop-up 40, no difference there. Also has about an 80 pound capacity to haul out meat. So that's not gonna change either. Um, and then moving over to the women's pop-up 40. I think this is, this is kind of a really cool thing as well. We have a lot of gals that come in looking to kind of get that perfect pack fit, whether they're uh, going out for the first time or their next hunt, whatever it is. Having something that can kind of uh, cross both from the 30 to the 40 for women's packs is great fits really well. Women's sizing will go from extra small to medium. Uh, and I think we offer it in the foliage at the moment. And then men's sizing will go from, uh, I believe it's smaller medium to extra large. And that's just based on the waist belts here. Again, if you have questions about sizing, drop a comment below, or please feel free to reach out. We'll be happy to answer those for you. Um, to kind of close it out, you guys, it's really important that we find the pack that works for us. Like we've been talking about when it comes to performance gear and everything else. This, this gear and everything that we'd like to talk about really makes the difference in a hunt from our first hunt to our next hunt or our last hunt. It keeps us in the field longer. We don't have to second guess if we have everything. We can trust that we can carry it all in and we can carry it all out. So we're really, really excited to have these new Mystery Ranch pop-up 40s and 30s in men's and women's in the Go Hunt gear shop. So uh, if you guys have any comments, drop a comment below. Give us a thumbs up and a follow. We'd really appreciate the support. If you guys are coming through Las Vegas, please swing by the showroom. We'd love to meet you guys. We'd love to get you fitted and go through some details on these backpacks. And uh, thank you guys for watching.